Hi everyone, welcome to this module on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Fast Connect service. My name is Rohit Rahi and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. So Fast Connect, what is this service called Fast Connect? Fast Connect provides a dedicated and private connection with higher bandwidth options and a more reliable and consistent networking experience when compared to internet based connections. So the idea here is you can connect to OCI directly or via pre-integrated network partners. Um, just think about this as having your own high occupancy vehicle lane in the internet. So you, your traffic doesn't go through the normal internet, which can be unreliable uh, because internet is, is a collection of networks which are all peer together. So the connectivity might be unreliable. You might get very inconsistent network performance in contrast, Fast Connect gives you that dedicated and private connectivity, sort of having your own high occupancy vehicle lane uh, within the internet. You get port speeds of 1 Gbps and 10 Gbps increments. So some providers support only 1 and 10, and some providers would support 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. And you can even go higher than uh, 10 Gbps. There are two different ways you can use Fast Connect. One is uh, called private peering, where you where you extend your your, your on-premises data centers into Oracle uh, by using uh, private connectivity and you access uh, services running in a virtual cloud network. Or the other model is called public peering where you can connect to your on-prem environment to some of the OCI public services such as object storage. And we'll look into these in more detail uh, in subsequent slides. Uh, there is no charge for inbound outbound data transfer. And uh, as you can imagine, Fast Connect uses uh, BGP protocol. So what are the two scenarios where you would use Fast Connect? The first scenario is when you are co-locating co with Oracle in a Fast, uh, fast Connect uh, lo uh, location, right? So your existing network is here, right? You are co-located with Oracle uh, and you just connect the edges together uh, with uh, BGP, right? It's, just, it's a BGP pairing you, you do here. The second scenario is when you connect with Oracle through an Oracle provider, so this can be Megaport uh, or this can be AT&T or, or someone, right? And you have your own connectivity from your existing network to the provider. And then through the provider, you connect to Oracle Cloud infrastructure here, right? And again, you could use layer two here or layer three connectivity, depending on what your provider supports. So you could either do that, uh, but you could, you could basically you are connecting to, uh, to a network provider uh, already and you you already might have set up that connection and then you connect from that provider through Oracle cloud infrastructure and using this sort of a two hop connection you are connected to uh, to you're connecting your on-prem environments to the Oracle cloud infrastructure. So there is this concept called virtual circuit. Virtual circuit is nothing but an isolated network path that runs over one or more physical network connections to provide this single logical connection between customer's edge router and the, the DRG in OCI. So we talked about this here, right? So you create a virtual circuit and it runs over these, the, these might be physical connectivity here, and it provides this connection from your on-premises to the Oracle Cloud uh, infrastructure, DRG. Each virtual circuit is made up of information shared between customer, Oracle, and a provider, as you can recall from the previous picture, right? Uh, Makes sense? Uh, it, it's possible to have multiple virtual circuits to isolate traffic from different parts of organization, right? So you can have a virtual circuit for this side. You could have another for this this side, right? So you can you could have multiple virtual circuits um, for different uh, reaching different parts of your organization, or you could just do multiple virtual circuits just for redundancy uh, purposes. And like we said, you know, Fast Connect uses BGP, uh, and then uh, I think I might have a bullet point here, which is missing. It might use layer two or layer three uh, connectivity. So what are these scenarios? We talked about private peering and uh, public peering. So private peering, as we talked about, you are extending your on-prem network to the OCI virtual cloud network, right? So virtual cloud network, you are running, uh, let's say your compute or your databases uh, in a private network and you are extending your on-prem network to reach that, to, to reach your OCI virtual cloud network. Uh, the communication happens using private IP addresses, right? So the whole idea here is emphasis on private. Uh, you are basically uh, 
uh, reaching your uh, resources running in VCN through on-premises using private uh, connectivity. Uh, public pairing, on the other hand, uses public OCI services such as object storage, right, or console or APIs. Uh, and these can be dedicated, uh, these can be uh, reached over dedicated fast connect uh, connection. Why would you do that versus just reaching them publicly over a public internet connection? Well, for the same reason why you would use uh, fast connect, right? It gives you that consistent uh, dedicated connectivity uh, so you get a much better uh, experience. As you can imagine, in public peering, you don't go through DRG, right? Because, um, because again, you are just accessing the public services. Uh, DRG is when you have to go through your uh, connectivity for your uh, VCN, right? Rem remember, DRG uh, is one of the gateways for your on-prem. This is the gateway for your on-prem environment. The other gateways we have are things like Internet Gateway, MAD Gateway, Service Gateway, etc., right? Uh, which have different use cases, whether you are reaching Internet or you are reaching uh, Oracle Public Cloud Services from a VCN, you would use uh, a Service Gateway, etc. So as you can see here in the picture, this is your on-prem environment. This is the fast connect uh, location. Uh, and right here, if you are trying to reach your on-premises environment uh, through through the fast connect uh, location uh, to a VCN, you would use a DRG and then this you would reach your, your VCN here, right? And you could be running compute instances here. You could be running database instances and all these connectivity be private. Uh, you are going through the private IP addresses. In contrast, if you want to reach object storage, you could still do the same. You could go from your on-prem, but now you are just bypassing the whole DRG and VCN, and you are directly going to your uh, public OCI public services, such as such as object storage. Right. So these are the two models which are which are supported, and uh, this also comes up in exams. Uh, the question might be, you know, if I'm using public peering, uh, which statement is not true? Uh, and you know they will give you four options and you have to make sure that in public peering DRG is not used right so just, just be aware of that DRG is used only uh, in case of uh, private peering all right and here is a list of all the fast connect providers and there's a long list of providers uh, you should check the online documentation to see we are adding providers um, uh, pretty frequently so you should take a look at the different regions you are planning to use fast connect location and you know which providers uh, are supported in that particular region. All right, so let's with that, let's quickly jump over to the console and show a quick uh, demo. Now for the demo, one thing which I want to call out is in the demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the connectivity. Sorry, let me just get the slide back here. In, in the demo, I'm going to show you the connectivity from here to from a provider network to, to OCI. This connectivity from your existing on-premises environment to the provider edge, I'm assuming that you already have this running. If you have this running, I'm just going to show you this part here, right? This this connectivity and how simple is, is it, it is to uh, create that uh, connectivity.